Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today we're gonna to talk about how to ramp up SMS limits in high level. Let's dive in. Increasing SMS limits is something that we've had some struggles with. Our agency model is basically getting hold of clients' old leads, SMSing them and moving them to appointments, which turns into sales, and we get paid on a performance basis off the back of that, right? There's plenty of clients out there that have hundreds of thousands of leads they've given up on, so it's the offer of the century, especially when you do it on a performance basis, right? The problem is we're working with clients right now that like one of them's doing 4,000 leads a day, right? Which is 120,000 leads a month. And they're asking us to reactivate the leads as they come in fresh. So if they don't, it's, it's an e-commerce client, if they don't convert the lead immediately, we want to send an SMS and ask them whether or not they want to buy, et cetera, et cetera, right? It's, um, it's relatively easy to set up and it's a gold mine, right? It's working really well for us. But one of the things we realized is that because there's so many leads coming in, high level, which is the uh, CRM we use to do all of our AI automations, we hit a 20,000 limit, right? Like relatively qu quickly with this client because of those 4,000 leads a day, we, we SMS them four or five times to bump them and to engage them, et cetera, et cetera, right? So we had to reach out to high level a number of times to get the, that limit increased and increased and increased. And in this video, I'm gonna pass you to my tech guy, Graham, and he's gonna help you understand the best way to do this so you get your limit increased every single time. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna pass you to Graham. I'll speak to you soon. Hey guys, and welcome to the video on how to ramp your SMS limit inside your high-level accounts. Now, um, in the top uh, right-hand corner of your screen, uh, we've done a video on how to ramp your SMS limits by speaking to support, and I would really um, recommend doing that first. Um, speaking to support, say you're compliant, um, and ask them to increase your limits naturally, because obviously this is, um, it's gonna be annoying uh, to do the ramp um, if you have to do it. Um, but if they say no, then this is the way that I would be, be doing it, so, so it's not very stressful for you guys at all, and you can just do it switch, uh, go, and just let it ramp in the background before you start your client. Um, so if, I'm just gonna show you examples. So obviously this is the ramp tutorial that I've just built. Um, 100 SMS limit, which is standard now for a new account. Um, and basically what you're gonna to wanna to do, I'm gonna give you the snapshot below in the description. So you just wanna go and upload that into your agency account and also into the client account you're trying to ramp as well. Okay. The reason for this is you're just gonna have two accounts SMS each other in the background to get up to the 100 limit, then the 250 limit, um, and then um, the 350 limit and so on. Um, so to show you how to do this, you're just gonna to want to go and get the snapshot, import it into your account, go to um, your agency sub account, load snapshot uh, like that, and we'll just search for, I mean this one, we just go to our agency account quickly. Cool, so we just wanna go and load the snapshot and we would just search for what we've just done, which is ramp, proceed. Uh, just skip all these and just do the one workflow and proceed. Um, and I think I've already done it, so I've already done that but this, will, this won't show up for you because you, will, you won't have already done it and you just go proceed and add that into your agency account and then add it into your client account you're trying to ramp, okay? So here's the tutorial just to show you how it works. It's just one automation um, and all it is is an SMS. You wait for a reply to that SMS, then you send another one and it goes down to 10, 10 SMS and then we send it back up uh, to here. So it's just cyclical. It'll continue going until it hits the limit, basically. Um, and that's kind of what you want to happen. So you can just go press plug and play, go, um, and let it run, basically. So let's go. So this is the account that I want to ramp. So I'm gonna go in here. Just to show you, so I've got it in there. And this is the account that's gonna help us ramp. So this is your already established agency account. Um, and let me, what I need to go and do now is I need to go and get my phone number. Obviously, uh, we'll blur this out. That's why you can't see it. 
And then we're going to go um, back and we're going to go and create a contact. Which is going to be... So I don't, I don't get confused. Cool. Then I'm going to go to automations. And then what I want to go and do. Can you cool. And then, so just copy this. Now what we want to go and do is we want to go and put them through this um, automation now. So... I'm just going to go and add them here. Test workflow. I'm going to type in uh, test. Connolly. Run test. So that should come through uh, to our contacts in here. Cool, that's come through here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go uncheck that. I don't know why it's does not apply. Um, and then I'm going to go and add them uh, into the ramp automation. I'm going to add. So now they're in both automations. Um, it should do this. So you can see, so it's starting to go. And it's building and this will continue to happen until you ramp so I'm going to want to go and stop this soon um, because if we just go back here you'll be able to see in the sub account section this one see it's starting to go up this is how you can quickly quickly do it so I want to refresh that. And you'll see it go up. And when it hits a, a, a hundred, obviously ours is on um, 5,000 at the moment. But if you, if you were on a hundred, it's going to go up to a hundred basically, and it will stop and then it will stop. And then you have to redo it the next day and take them out of the uh, automation. But yeah, as you can see, it's going through. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and then you can just go and do something else and just let it go and then that's going to ramp and it's going to get you up to 100 and then you'll have to wait 24 hours and it'll be up to 250 then you do it again up to 500 uh, and so on and so forth so obviously first and foremost you want to go and uh, ask high level to up it be quite persistent with them most of the time they do do it if they're adamant they're not going to do it then this is what you're going to have to do um, and I've got the snapshot there below, so you can add that to the account you want to ramp and an account that you've got, like your agency sub account or something like that, which you don't need to ramp as much. Or you may want to ramp both, uh, in which case that will work perfectly as well. Um, but thanks a lot for watching, guys. This is basically how we do it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, pop up a comment below um, and I'll get back to you. Cheers, guys. Bye bye. Okay, thank you, Graham. You might be interested in what I was talking about at the start of this video, which is basically, if you're a marketing agency, you'll understand what database reactivation is. You'll understand what the, the Dean Jackson nine word email is. Basically, we're taking that same concept, but we're supercharging it with AI and SMS. And the results are 10, maybe 100 times better than what Dean was doing 10, 15 years ago, whenever he, whenever he um, kind of coined that nine word email phrase. It's a huge opportunity. If you want to know more about it, I've got a free challenge. It's called the Prince Charming Challenge. We call it Prince Charming because it wakes up, SMS wakes up their databases. There's a link below in the description. You'll be able to find it. It's good stuff. Enjoy. I'll speak to you soon.